Hi, welcome to the 3D Pen Den. We have been talking about the five platonic solids lately. Today, let's look at this little guy. Tetrahedron and some of its variations. Tetrahedron is one of the three platonic solids made from equal lateral triangles. And, as the name suggests, we will need four of them. But don't start with making four separate triangles. Because what we actually need to do is to make four triangles with only six sides. These have 12. I started with making one triangle and right off the bat I have a problem. How do I know at what angle to attach the next triangle to it? And how do I even hold it up there? I will obviously need my angle jig and the video on how to make one is in the description. Wikipedia and this angle finder say the dihedral angle of tetrahedron is 70 degrees. In fact, tetrahedron is the only platonic solid with dihedral angle smaller than 90 degrees, which means it is an acute angle. And those are a bit more difficult to make. And here is why. If I set my angle support to 70 degrees over my work surface, it will be pretty floppy and not hold the desired angle at all. Forget about taping the triangle to it and working outward from it onto the work surface like we did with all the others. We will need to adopt a slightly counterintuitive approach here. Acute angles are a bit of a high maintenance angles. We'll set the internal angle of the angle support to 70 degrees which means instead of working outward from the angle finder I will need to work under it. Here is how that works. I will start by making the left side and the base of the first triangle and take it off. Then I will do it again and won't take it off. Here comes the counterintuitive part. The angle support will sit on top of the project and I will be working on that connecting line from the outside. Tape everything down as usual to keep things in place. And here we go. Triangles 1 and 2 joined at 70 degree angle. And the good news is we are almost done. Just one line away from done, actually. And here we go. There is one more way tetrahedron is different from the, all the other platonic solids. Icosahedron and all the others always have two opposite parallel faces at every point. Which 
lets me thread them onto a central axis tool to make all kinds of concentric variations. Now, the tetrahedron has a side opposite the middle of every face. No way of running an axis through the side. I told you acute angles cause trouble. But that doesn't mean we can't have some fun with it. It just means we'll have to do a few more acute angle tricks. This time I won't confuse myself with doing any sides at all. Just the inner triangle grid. We will deal with making all the big sides later. Now, let's align the three points where the inside design meets the outer triangle side. Also, make sure the front side faces out. To keep everything organized where it needs to be, I will attach the middle first those three little points that are peeking out and only then worry about making the outer lines over all those meeting points. Take it off and repeat mercifully only two more times. Equilateral triangles are fun because they divide into more equilateral triangles which in turn divide into even more equilateral triangles to eternity or until you run out of space. If you opt for a different design, just remember that you will need to attach all the points that touch the sides, in this case 11 of them on all sides, so don't complicate your life too much. But it looks cool and cast some awesome shadows. And what if you decide to have your tetrahedron completely solid? perhaps even with some random artwork on the sides. That would be, of course, way more work. And it would have to be another video. So until then, go and make something. <laughs>